Hello, I'm Anna Lundy. I'm CTL for Art, Photography, Textiles and Graphics. Um, I'm just about to show you um, some information about the Art Textiles course we run for GCSE here at Ralph Allen School. I've got some slides to look through and some examples of the students' work. Um, so this course started this year and it's been a huge success. I've had lots of uh, lovely students joining on. Um, so I've got some great work to show you. Uh, they're doing a really good job because they've got no work to look at. So they are pioneers uh, in this new course. Um, GCSE course follows the AQA specification. So like photography, fine art and graphics, it's the same makeup. It's 60% coursework and 40% is the exam to make up that final GCSE grade. Again, it runs over two years and everything that the students complete is viable for submission for their coursework portfolio. So we start on day one. Um, so it's really important to hit the ground running and to make sure you're trying your best at every occasion. We look at a series of different units and they cover different techniques, media and artists. So we get a nice wide variety of different work to be able to investigate and develop our own ideas from. So that's a little example of some couching on the bottom of there. Topics we've covered so far are landscape, pattern and decoration. We are about to start animals um, around Easter time and then the personal study. Now, the personal study is entirely up to the students. So whatever they'd like to choose as their topic, they're welcome to do so. And that is the final unit of coursework, which takes them into year 11. Um, this is one of the outcomes from my current class. Um, you can see there's a, a mixture of paper and textiles and sewing and little areas cut out. There's some beadwork on it as well. And this is in response to natural landscapes. The equipment, everybody works in a sketchbook. You can buy sketchbooks from me or you're welcome to get your own. Um, you're going to need basic art supplies. So pens, pencils, colours, watercolours, that would be great. We're also going to need basic textile supplies like offcuts of fabric, nets, trim, beads, cottons, uh, little bits of wool, any sort of kind of scrap bag that you've got at home. So start collecting now. Also going to need access to a camera. We often work from uh, life, so we're finding um, little things out and about in our landscape that we are interested by taking photos of them, doing drawings from them and then developing textile work as a result. This is a little um, piece here. You can see lots of little tiny things um, in response to um, kind of like a summery landscape here. Um, gives you a nice upbeat feeling that one. These are some examples of the students' works. This is all pieces of textile sewn onto a canvas. And this is in response, looking at several different artists' work. The students had a free range to choose from a list of six of who they wanted to be inspired by. And you can see these have all chosen a different person because they have a different outcome. We work in sketchbooks. So this is some examples of the development. So you can see how students are recording. So whether they've got photographs and they've actually stuck some of the little things in that they found. They've done some drawings. They're then doing some design plans and annotations. They're looking at a range of different starting points for inspiration and then developing towards a final outcome, which you can see as the circular piece in the centre. These are some of the other final outcomes that we've looked at. There's some felt making, there's some batik processes and some applique. How is it assessed? We have four different assessment objectives. Uh, the first one is how students develop their ideas. So what do they look at? How do they develop? How do they record that as they go along? The second one is experimenting. So are they willing to work in a wide range of different materials using lots of different techniques and different media and making the right choices for the right thing that they're trying to achieve? The third one is recording. So that's all the photographs, the sketches, any initial testers, with the textiles as well. And that all leads on to the final outcome. So what is the end result after all this hard work? Looking at the artists, analysing the pieces, developing your own ideas, experimenting towards this final outcome, which culminates all of that research for that project. Each one of those is 24 marks. And like I've said, that makes up 60% of the coursework. Um, I mark everything. So I mark all of the GCSE work for art, photography, graphics and textiles but also with a rolling um, complement of the rest of my team as well. And then that then is externally moderated. So it's incredibly well marked. What can you do in the future? It seems a bit bonkers because you're already just deciding on uh, GCSEs. But in the future, we offer currently A-levels in fine art and photography. Who's to say that we can't offer graphics and textiles for uh, future A-level as well? And um, that is something that we can think about uh, longer term. 
Um, moving on from that, but I mean, you'd still be able to do fine art or photography A level with a textiles GCSE. They are very comparable. Um, we have massive, massive uptick to art foundation. So after A levels, moving on to a foundation course, um, I think 14 out of 17 of my class one year went on um, to Trowbridge. It was like they were just basically taking my class without me to Trowbridge. Um, Bath is really popular. We have Bristol. We have lots in London that go to sort of Goldsmiths Foundation. Um, several up in Scotland. We've got people this year going to France as well. All be well, fingers crossed. Um, so really popular course and really popular industry to get into afterwards. Um, that leans on to degrees, whether it's fine art or textiles, 3D design, animation, ceramics. Um, the world is your oyster for that. Um, our students, um, I am so fortunate this year that the, the group of students that I have to start to pilot this course are amazing. They're really hard working, they're really dedicated, they're keen to learn and they're having fun. They're really enjoying the course, but they are doing the work to go with it. And they're producing some fantastic outcomes, as you can see. I mean, we're only sort of, this is the third term in and I've already got quite a lot of work um, to show, which is brilliant. If that is you and you fancy combining art and textiles together, then this is the course for you and we would welcome you on board. Thank you very much for listening and take care.